What if there was a way you could use the gyroscopic data within the Sony ZV-1 to stabilize the footage? So the camera is providing all the data to make your footage incredibly stable. Now there's no way to do it. That's the of course there's a way to do it and it's free. I'll show you how to do it next. So come on, let's go stabilizing. That was cheesy. My name is Vic Barry and if you're looking for some cool techniques, tips and thoughts for all things video and filmmaking, this is the channel for you. So please consider hitting subscribe, especially if you find this video useful. First step here is to download the Sony Catalyst Browse software, that's free. Install it and then we're good to go. Once you open it up, you can browse to whatever folders that you want and wherever your footage is. And again, this is footage that you haven't stabilized. This is footage that maybe, like me in the last video, you forgot to turn on active steady shot. Mm-hmm, yeah, bad idea. So this is really easy. It's gonna use the data from the camera to make this stable. And seriously, when I said this is really easy, this is really easy. So first off, uh, let's select the clip that we want. We can either double click on it like this, or we can just go to the view mode and select which one we want. I'm gonna start with this one. And all we gotta do is select stabilize. And it's as quick as that, literally that was real time. So it's pulled all the data in from the gyroscope and all that kind of movement data in the Sony ZV-1. It's applied it and now we can see that there's a bit of a crop. However, if we play it back, we can see the footage is a lot more stable. I know what you're saying. It's not wide enough. <laughs> so here's what we need to do. All you gotta do is go to manual up here and then we can change the cropping ratio so we can bring it all the way back up, which is going to make no difference. But if we start bringing it in a little bit, let's bring it in here till my hat kind of tips the top of the screen. So that's 87.6%. Now let's play it back. Look at the stabilization on that. All this from a free piece of software. Look at it. Look compared to here to there. Wow. Once you've got your cropping ratio done and that's the only change you're gonna make, the next step is to export the footage. All you gotta do is select the export option up here, select your destination folder. So I've got one here called stabilized. That doesn't matter, you can call it whatever you want. And then we have a number of options. So I would suggest don't change anything on these options because it's gonna keep the quality as is. The only thing it's doing is re-rendering the file stabilized. So you're not gonna lose any color or any kind of detail. Right, scroll down, select export, and that's it. It's now exporting the file for you to do whatever you want with it, edit it, look at it, marvel at the insane stabilization. To give you guys an idea of how good this is, and that's the only process, that's it. You don't have to do anything else. It's like click stabilize, change your cropping ratio. Here's some extra clips to show you how insanely good this is. Now, before I get into that, I know there's some people going, but this is an extra step. Yeah, it's an extra step, but do you want to spend an extra couple of minutes getting footage that looks really, really good and you can stabilize it without any of that kind of jello effects that happen in other software stabilization? Or do you want to put out something that's not up to par? Here's some insanely good stabilized footage, all done from the free Sony Catalyst Browse software. Honestly, this is a hugely underrated feature in the Sony ZV-1. I know it's a little bit technical, but you've seen how easy this is. Push in, press stabilize, more or less done. It's like a couple of button presses. What more do you want? Speaking of stuff that you might want more of, there's a video up here that's, uh, yeah, I think you're gonna like it. So check that one out and hit subscribe if you found this video useful. And I'll see you in the next episode of the vlog. And until then, don't stop fighting for yourself. And that's the last video I'm gonna make.